Hi, welcome back to Indira's World. Well, I did part one a little while ago where I used puff pastry and filled it up with low fat mints and um, made a kind of uh, dinner stroke, tea stroke, whatever you want, snack or main meal. And I thought, well, we don't want to leave the vegetarians out of this one. So I rummaged through the fridge again and what did I find? Phyllo pastry. So I got a vegetarian phyllo pastry here and I'm going to be filling it up with all sorts of goodies vegetables and some feta cheese and of course if you're vegan you can always get vegan versions of the same thing uh, again this is seriously easy to do it takes 10 minutes at most to assemble the whole lot and stick it in the oven at 220 for another 10 15 minutes and you're done so I'm not going to take up too much time I'm just going to go straight in Okay, here I have my ingredients, which is some phyllo pastry, which I've drizzled a little olive oil on the top. I've got some mushrooms that I found in the fridge, some chopped onions, peppers, red, yellow, green, um, red, yellow, orange, tomatoes, a little parsley, I've got a little more actually, and some feta cheese. Um, now as an option, if you wanted to go non-vegetarian on this, you could put bacon or whatever you want. I also use some flour to make a sauce and milk in this rather glamorous container. So we're going to start now by chucking everything together and then filling it in here. Well, here we go. I've heated up my pan. Um, I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for everybody. In case um, you haven't watched this channel before, I try and keep the calories as low as possible. It isn't always easy but I also keep the exercise as high as possible and I'm always promoting that. Also, um, mental health, please, in case anybody's suffering from any kind of anxieties, talk to somebody and uh, hopefully things are changing for the better now. And for all those who have relatives and family in places where things are not so good, I wish you all, you know, good fortune and, and that everyone will stay healthy. I know I come from India and I've had a lot of uh, family and friends who've suffered through this. So many prayers for everybody. Okay, here I have one serving spoon of olive oil. I'm going to sweat my onions, which is half a cup of onions. I've used red onions here and um, I've taken a full cup of mixed mushrooms. They have wonderful flavor and smell. So basically, it's not too much different to what I've done now. <laughs> it's the whole recipe in itself. I'm going to add very little salt to this because I am using feta cheese in it and that's quite salty. Now, I'm adding in a tablespoon of flour and stirring that around. And to this, I'm going to add my milk. I'm going to add a cup and a half of milk. It's a gift, I know what I'm doing, I think. And I'm going to cook that into a kind of saucy thing where the flour should thicken it up. Now I've been stirring this around for a minute and a half or so. And that's gone quite thick and I'm turning it off. To this, I'm going to add half the feta cheese. That's it. I shall rinse my hands out and be back with you. This is pretty much as complicated as this dish gets. Now I'm going to pile all this into my phyllo pastry and put in all my vegetables and then bake it. Um, I'm going to have to set that oven. So give me a minute. Preheated my oven now to 180 degrees and I'm putting in six sheets of phyllo pastry here and it doesn't have to look beautiful because the more crumpled it looks, the nicer it looks to be honest. Now, I'm going to add in this wonderful gunky mushroom. There we go. And to that, I am going to add all my colorful stuff. Just very 
pretty and very nutritious. And the balance is always nice because it's a balance of color, balance of nutrition. But balance of color is so important in food. Don't want to be eating a monochromatic meal. That's just not fun. I'm going to pop some parsley stuck in there somewhere. I am really veggieing this thing up so that everybody gets fooled into eating all their five a days in one hit. Now, to this, I'm going to add my bits of feta. Once I've finished with this, which will be in a second, I'm going to brush the outside with the egg so it does not burn. go and drizzle about a teaspoon and a half of olive oil and we're going to take that across to the oven now and plonk it in there for 15 minutes and that should be done and come out a perfect meal. So that's in the oven now for 15 minutes. In case you haven't watched my show, please do tune in to Indira's World on YouTube and follow me. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this. And give me a thumbs up if you don't like this. Uh, nice, lovely, sunny day here in London. So I have my five dogs who I'm going to take for a long walk in my fields. And thereafter, I'll be grooming my horses. What are you? going to be doing with the rest of your day and week and of course don't forget oh, I meant to tell you this and I think I might have mentioned it but if I haven't do let me know if there's anything in particular you want to know about any particular dishes and um, I'm happy to oblige and if I don't know anything about it I'll do my research and then let you know so until then I shall just sit here and wait for 15 minutes and have a cup of tea well, here it is. After 15 minutes, it can take even less. Um, I left the veggies a little bit crunchy, but if you don't like them crunchy, you can always saute them before you go. This is a fantastic meal for four or two, depending on how much you eat. I think four with a nice salad is great. So uh, I hope you're going to try all these things because they really are so easy to do. And, um, you know, last minute someone's popping in, just pull out the phyllo pracy, chuck everything in and Bob's your uncle, it's ready, you know. You don't even have to make the sauces. It's all there. And until next time. And of course, as I said before, and I always say, if there's anything you want to know about, let me know. And I hope I will be able to cover it. So there you go. Send me your choices.